Hey you all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the south, more specifically Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Even more specifically than that, we're in front of Wonderworks. Now Wonderworks is a chain of upside down buildings that have crashed upside down in various tourist attractions around the country. Um, I know there is one in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. There is a Wonderworks in Orlando, Florida. There's a Wonderworks in, I think, Panama City, Florida. But here we are at the one in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And I have never been inside of this Wonderworks. So we are gonna head inside. So please, follow me. Here's the Wonderworks Weatherstone. You can see that uh, you judge this rock by the condition. If the stone is wet, it's raining. If the stone is dry, it's not raining. If there's a shadow on the ground, it's sunny. It's white on top, it's snowing. You can't see the stone, it's foggy. The stone is swinging, it's windy. If it's jumping up and down, there's an earthquake. The stone's gone, there's been a tornado. And you can even put your head and be a tornado with a rock hovering over your head. You can hear the creaking of the upside down building. As we look up there, you can see the columns. we are in the lobby you can see the stairs you can see up there there's various scientists I know that's Tesla right here if you know who these other three are leave a comment in the comment section there's some uh, classic Myrtle Beach photos from here this is Kitty Land amusement park we have some classic Myrtle Beach photos on the wall here Here's the Kittyland Amusement Park from the 1950s. Actually, the Gay Dolphin Park. There's actually still a Gay Dolphin gift shop in existence. I do see there's some uh, taxidermy ducks there on the upside down wall. This picture here shows some of the damage after Hurricane Hugo. All right, we enter in. If you are prone to dizziness, first in tunnel. All right, we are heading into the very disorientating inversion tunnel. This is transporting us into the world of Wonderworks. See, we have a exhibit on the Titanic here. These show where the deck was angled at certain points during the impacts. All right, so. This deck, not so steep. It's only 20 minutes after impact, not bad. This next one's a little steeper. It's 65 minutes after impact. And this one is really steep. You wouldn't want to fall off the back of the boat and hit a giant fan. So let's walk up here. Yeah, 110 minutes after impact. Let's, oh no. Yeah, see? Furniture rushing through the halls. Oh, that's not good. It's not good when your boat looks like that. All right, here you get to test your hand at uh, hypothermia. It says, in this exhibit, you'll feel the icy cold water as it was the night the Titanic sank. How long can you hold your hand in the water? So we're gonna start the timer, to dunk our hands. We're gonna see how long we can and honestly, this is, I don't know if there's something wrong with the exhibit, but uh, this water is like lukewarm. I could lay in the tub of this all day long. Looks like a power line has crashed into this exhibit here. It says, become a human lightning rod. Well, that sounds fun. So I put my hand in here. All right, so there's my hand. And there's some sort of horrible electronic coil. I'm gonna button here, I'm gonna push that with my foot. It's not, it's not jumping to my hand. Let's see if we can. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, I touched my hand. Touch my hand. I gain all the evil powers of electricity. <laughs> Need to keep the hand sanitizer flowing here. It's the Natural Disaster Information Center. See all these different screens showing various 
natural disasters, fires, earthquakes, floods, and other dangerous acts of God. What's going on there inside the hurricane shack? All right, let's head into the hurricane uh, shack ourselves. Oh, be kind to, a, to a, uh, others and our exhibits. I always love a little bee humor mixed in. All right, so we're gonna press start here. Since 2001, costs and repairs from hurricane destruction in the United States have exceeded $157 billion. A category one hurricane contains winds of 74 to 95 miles per hour, strong enough to knock over a tractor trailer. A category five hurricane contains wind speeds of 155 miles per hour and greater than imagine being caught in the winds greater than the ones you are about to experience It's causing some sort of weird camera glitch. Uh, that black line, it's not, uh, it's not exist in real life. Um, the water droplets are going upwards, as you can see. But uh, yeah, that camera glitch, that's interesting. Does anyone know why that's happening? All right, we're getting ready to test our strength. Like this old timey wrestler here. We have a robo grip. How strong are you? We're gonna get this started. A squeeze. Oh wait. All right, I'm prepared. Grip the handle when the light is on. All right, now grip it with all of your back. All right, gripping it. Oh, squeezing it. Oh no, I'm not very strong. I'm squeezing it as hard as I can. I've only reached clown level. If I squeeze a little harder, maybe I can get it up to monkey. Come on. Oh, final grip score is clown grip, 86 pounds. See these uh, 360 degree motorcycles here. Oh, oh, is it gonna go all the way around? I don't know. Oh, that looks vomit inducing. Oh my gosh, are they gonna make it all the way around? I guess they, oh, they're actually pedaling their bicycles. These other people, I guess, are just not into being upside down. Oh, there they go. Oh, almost. Oh, what a tease. Oh, maybe they can make it this time. Oh, I would throw up on that. I think I'm not going to be subjecting my body to that level of torture. Oh, 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 here we go. Is he gonna make it? There, oh, made it all right around. Oh my gosh. I would throw up all over all these people, I swear. Use the power bully to sit in this chair and try to pull yourself up using only that rope. the question we've all uh, been asking how big is Shaq? Keel O'Neal is 7'1", weighs 335 pounds, and his shoes are that big. What on earth is going on in there? It looks like most of these rides are made with the intention of causing vomit, dizziness, and diarrhea. All right, gonna walk this way. You can see the staircase here has uh, Benjamin Franklin on it. Kind of see what it's like to walk up Benjamin Franklin's face. 
here we have a hall of scientists. Archimedes. Did he, did he invent pie? That's pretty cool. Leonardo da Vinci. The famed... Uh, what is this painting called that has the man with all the limbs? Remember I did a project on Leonardo da Vinci when I was in middle school and I made a replica of the floating dredger. One of his many inventions. We have Galileo Galilei, physicist, mathematician, astronomer, 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 and philosopher. Sir Isaac Newton, he invented um, what, gravity, right? Gravity. Louis Pasteur, oh, Louis Pasteur, he's the bomb. He invented both um, the, uh, what was it, the, the vaccination for smallpox and how to uh, pasteurize milk. Marie Curie here invented radiation and then was killed by her own invention, just like Dr. Frankenstein. There's Nikola Tesla, a lot of, a lot of rumor and speculation regarding Tesla. Some say that he was inventing a giant death ray to, uh, to serve as the ultimate weapon. Here's a staircase based on the Escher paintings. See the Escher-like staircases actually painted on a staircase, so that's pretty clever. Will the people on the stairs ever get anywhere? No, they're doomed. Oh, this is making me dizzy. Shouldn't make me dizzy while I'm walking upstairs. Why is there so many stairs? We have the wall of illusions. Who do you see? Hybrid images. What is that? Uh, that was Marilyn Monroe and Albert Einstein compared into one person. Oh yeah, there you go. Albert Monroe. Something slightly unsettling about this picture here. Oh, yeah, that's weird. Who's this hybrid image? Is that Frank Sinatra and Lucille Ball, I think, I think. Here's the giant piano, like the uh, movie Big. Body morph, can you believe it's happening to you? Oh. Wait, what's. There we go. Okay, there's me standing there, and then as I walk forward, my body melds into one amalgamous mass. I smell something. I smell something. I smell. Yes, this is what I thought I was smelling. It's a mold amatic. It's known in some circles as a moldorama. This makes a little spaceship there. Now I can smell it, so I feel like it's on, but there's this rope, there's this rope in front of it, so I'm thinking maybe, maybe it's out of order, sadly. So we get this robotic arm to function. Got some levers right here. Oh, there we go. Get the arm, lift up. Go over here, let's try to pick something up. Drop it down. And see if we can grab something that's it's not working very well. Alright, let's, let's see, maybe. Grab it, grab that ball. Robotic arm. It's not the strongest. Let's see if we can, we can grab that moon there. Why are you so why are you so weak, robot arm? What's this? This is very disorientating. I can see myself in the mirror about 50% of the time. We have this very colorful piano right here. Now look at that. As you play beautiful music, it shows you beautiful colors. It's the bubble lab where people attempt to make gigantic bubbles. Oh, there we go. 
and I popped. Yeah, making bubbles. Making bubbles can be hard. Oh, there's a big one. Oh, that popped. It's an exhibit on forensic facial reconstruction where they take a skull, turn it into a 3D image, and then begin to use their technology like, uh, like they do in Westworld to create a human face. So they can find a skull out in the woods and then they can reconstruct it and try to determine what a person looks like. You can see this was a facial reconstruction made from a skull and they're able to match it to a real person. Virtual reality pods here. Oh, you can see these people are being swung around. Inside of me, virtual universe, virtual universe full of vomit and headaches. The bed of nails, where you can slowly raised up into the air on a bed of nails. In here we have the Adventures of Professor Wonder. I think this would be like the origin the story Here's a fun of Wonderworks. There's Professor Wonder's. Many degrees. He had his advanced time travel degree, the doctorate of philosophy, a mathematician with specialization in computational topology. See, there's the Wonderworks laboratory there. We picked up. Oh no! Oh, don't worry. These days, the professor is master of the art. Oh. Selfie. Professor Wonder. Oh, there he is. Well, that's our story. See you next time. So there is a million black beads in this cylinder and a single yellow bead. You gotta try to find it. Oh, I saw a green bead. I saw a green bead, but it... So, if you see the infamous yellow bead, let me know. If there's a one in a million chance of finding it. Oh, I think I saw it. I think I saw it. What do you know? There it is, the yellow bead. That wasn't that hard. Alright, we have a great impressions wall. Um, a giant bead wall here where you can make an impression of your body um, due to certain things going on in the world. I'm gonna try to do this, but I don't want to put my face on this, so let's do it backwards. All right, let's go see what that looks like. Oh, uh, look, here's my back. You see the, see the hat poking out right there? See the glowing visage of Albert Einstein as he follows us around the room. So he slowly turns his head as we move. Some sort of space astronaut right there. How cool are you? It does appear that I appear to be riddled with heat. Look at my look at my blotchy red face. It's horrible. Ugh. Really, really don't like this color tone. Oh, look at this. We have another Moldomatic machine. This one has the actual building, the actual Wonderworks in it. So, but I look down here and it looks like there's a malfunctioned chunk of Wonderworks lodged in the machine. But uh, let's just try our luck and, and give it a whirl. Oh no, this is not gonna be pretty. Just crush that other one. Oh no. This is a molder moldomatic fail. It's spewing the hot wax out of the corners of the machine. Let's see what happens when the when the jaws open. Oh look at <laughs> look at that. Oh so big it doesn't even fit in the hole. If we can, I don't know if we can get that out. Let's see if we can pull out the, 
pull out the chunks. Ow! God! It's hot! Spicy Moldorama. Actually, I wouldn't call that much of a Moldorama. Oh, that's that's a Moldorama fail right there. And I love this. This is taxidermy created by Dr. Seuss. Actually, uh, made these for a motor oil uh, advertisement or for a trade show to bring people to the booth. See here, we have the flaming herring. The turtlenecked sea turtle. What's this? The powerless puffer. The sludge tarpon. This one, for some reason, this one is named Anthony Drexel Goldfarb. And the gimlet fish. You can see hiding up there is the Lorax. He speaks for the trees. How to get a word into the dictionary. Did you invent this word? Uh, let's say yes. Are you a famous writer? No, certainly not. Do you and your friends like totally use this word all the time? Uh, yes. This doesn't matter. Oh. There's recently added words to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Antifa. Bingeable. Cryptocurrency. Blockchain. What's a blockchain? What's a Chewini? Is that some breed of dog? Dumpster fire, that's what this year is. Uh, glamping. Time suck. What's a time suck? Initial coin offering. Schnoodle. Schnoodle. Does that tzatziki? Isn't that the that sauce for euros? That's really good. That's been around forever. What's it? Silver alert? That's when a, an adult goes missing. Yorkie poo? Some of these words are, are pretty silly. Subtweet. Mansplain. Kombucha. Invisible strings. Move your hand to the air. Your own musical masterpiece. Oh, I hate these metal uh, metal mazes here. See how far we can get without setting up the budget. I made it that far. I don't think it's physically impossible to get any less far than right there. There's some pictures here that mess with your head. It says, are these parrots in or out of the box? Uh, I vote they're out of the box. A man's face or a garden harvest. I would just say that some sort of diabolical abomination of a man made of vegetables. Is this a woman or a floral arrangement? I don't know, what do you guys think? And this lady says, are her eyes open or closed? I'm definitely seeing them as closed. Uh, I don't know if other people see that differently. And do you see a stack of books or a librarian? It's, it's, a, it's a book man. Is this a woman's face or a scene through an archway? I see a woman's face. Oh my gosh, look at this one. A woman's face or marine animals. Again, that's just pretty disturbing. Wonderworks. Appreciate you guys joining me as I travel through the mysterious Wonderworks. Upside down building here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. As you can see, a lot of the inside is interactive attractions, you know, things that you can experience with your hands, little science experiments, but interesting to check out nonetheless. The Wonderworks here in Myrtle Beach. Again, there are several Wonderworks around the country. It is a chain. Uh, if you like to see other places I've been, including different Wonderworks, check the interactive map in the description of this video. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, consider buying an enamel pin from the Etsy shop. Consider donating to Patreon. A $3 more donation will get you a postcard once a month. Until next time, this one's in the bag.